current transformer whenever you listen to this word then you think that what a current transformer like transformer is transformer what is this thing then yes my friend the transformer which transform current from high value to low value or low value to high value is called as current transformer welcome to my youtube channel thakar ki paat shala and you are watching first part of this video series current transformer and in this video series i will talk about different thing on current transformer this video is basically like an introductory video to current transformer in upcoming video i will talk in deep about different topic like burden error magnetization curve in current transformer if you haven't subscribed to this channel then hit that subscribe button as well as that bell icon so you don't miss those videos so first of all very basic question what is current transformer i have actually answered this in the starting but i will repeat in more technical term a current transformer is basically a device which can step up or step down current means it can increase or decrease output current in accordance to or as per change in the input current now another question will hit in your mind that why on planet earth we need to step up or step down current we are already stepping up and down voltage and we are totally fine with it then my friend we need to do this because whenever we are working with very high power line then associated current will be a very high our normal emitter and protective relaying circuit simply can't handle that much of high current so in order to measure high current and also to use different relays and what not we need to step step down it logically now sooner or later the third question will hit in your minds that how it actually works let's take look at construction and principle on which current transformer work in this figure the general construction of current transformer is shown as any other transformer it also consists two winding primary and secondary it transfer energy from one side to another side with suitable change in level of current or voltage a current transformer basically has primary winding consisting of one or more turn of wire of heavy cross sectional area like you can see in this picture in some cases the bar carrying high current may act as primary primary of current transformer is connected in series with the line carrying high current the secondary of transformer is made up by large number of turn of fine wire having small cross sectional area they are usually dated for 5 ampere working principle of current transformer is same as all other transformer current transformer is step up transformer if you look from voltage point of view as per this famous equation if voltage gets step up so the value of current will be step down from current point of view this is step down transformer i think you must know this equation for transformer i1 divided by i2 is equal to n2 divided by n1 here i1 and i2 are primary and secondary current n2 and n1 are the number of turn for primary and secondary winding in the current transformer the number of secondary turn are very high in comparison to primary if we look at this equation then we can easily understand that the secondary current will be lower than the primary current sometime manufacturer indicate current ratio for representing the range of transformer for example consider a 500 is to 5 range then it indicates that this transformer step down current from primary to secondary by ratio of 500 to 5 is that if we measure 5 ampere current on secondary side then there should be 500 ampere flowing from main circuit now let's quickly look at some of use of this transformer first and foremost use is measuring high current flowing from the circuit also it is used in protection system to supply current to relays it also provide an isolation between high current and low current circuit current transformer generally comes in three type first one is wound type second one is bar type and third one is window or toroidal type if i will explain them all here then this video will be very long in upcoming part i will talk about error burden different type of current transformer accuracy magnetization curve and lot more so don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with that bell icon so you don't miss those videos like it if you have liked it share it with your friends and if i have missed something or you want me to cover something in upcoming video then comment it down below so that's it for now we will meet in my next video